All right, everybody. This is Brick Builder Twitter Team here, and welcome back, guys, to our Minecraft Vanilla 1.10 Survival Series called Minecraft Fortification. And today, we're gonna be doing some work, guys. So first, you'll notice that there is a new thing here, and this little new thing is an orange tent. I built it right next to this one, and we got that one over there. We're working on finishing up this campsite because I kind of want to move on to a more structured base I guess that's more you know like a castle or something like that so we're gonna kind of hurry up the building process of this and stop focusing so much on little side projects like you know mess of mine skull room and the common question hall we killed some sheep over in the savannah over there because we needed some food and we didn't have any potatoes but now we have some that is good we're also almost at 30 levels and as you may be able to tell, there were some trees over here, but I kind of burned them down, and I time-lapsed it. So anyway, we're going to go right to that time-lapse, and you'll watch me burn down some trees, and then we'll be back, and we're going to start working on fortifying and decorating this place up a bit. So yeah, I'll see you in a sec. But yeah, what did you think of the burning trees? I thought it was pretty cool. Anyway... We have some cobblestone here, and the first thing I want to do is I want to build some rocks into the ground. And then also, by the way, this potato farm will not be staying here, obviously, when this place is done. So we're going to start by throwing a nice little rock right in here. So I want to place something like... Actually, no, not that. I want to place a slab down there. Put a nice cobble there. We'll put some cobble up here to kind of, you know, decide how we want to make this rock. We'll throw some stuff like this all around it. I think that works. But then over here, you gotta throw some cobble. You know, very easy, basic looking rocks, but if we throw these around a bit, they could really help make the place come alive. So I think what we'll do is we'll just add a couple more rocks around the place for now. We're gonna end up removing all of this grass as well, I think, around here, just because I don't know if I really want all this grass. Like, it doesn't really help us. But the main thing we gotta remember when we're building these rocks is we gotta keep them looking you know, like they're randomized and not something that is man-made. That looks good. Okay, we'll throw another rock over here. Actually, no, we won't because we have one there. Put one over here, though. This is a good spot. Here, we could do a bit of a bigger one. I think that'll work nicely. So, yeah, maybe we'll even try something like that. Like that. Throw it like there. Do that and that. Needs to be more rounded, this rock, I feel like. Because, like, a rock, you know, is generally rounded. And these rocks, they just add a little bit to the world. So I think that they add, you know, a little bit to our camp site. But, yeah, we're going to need to come up with some ideas, guys, for a name for this place. So if anybody has any ideas for a name, generally when I name things in my world, I try to go for something in another language that, rep that like, symbolizes or represents the place we're building. So I'll see what I can come up with you guys see what you come up with and we'll just kind of make a choice together so I think that that was a decent amount of rocks but on the next part very simple we got to put some trees in this place because we do want some trees and we don't want a piece of dirt right there though so we'll just toss this in there and we're gonna get some of these saplings some dirt and some bone meal if we even have any I don't even think we have much bone meal because we've been using it all on potatoes so yeah we're not gonna have much bone meal we're still pretty poor in the bone department we need to really find that skeleton spawner but until we do we'll have to make it do with what we got hopefully we end up getting a full tree out of it there we go okay that was a basic tree i'm trying to get a couple of the big trees around here because i think having a big tree or two would just be nice but we want them in places that, that don't you know, block our view of our builds, which, you know, is kind of key when landscaping. You don't want to block anything. Put that there. Actually, we need to take some of this dirt so we can just rip away this piece of right here. Boom. Come on. There we go. Alright, I don't know why these are not making big trees. Maybe we have to go higher up. I don't know. Sort of a noob when it comes to growing trees, but let's just, you know, let's try to stick it up three. I mean, not that it's going to grow in one anyway. So, yeah, what I'll do is, guys, I guess off camera when I kill some skeletons, I'll set up more trees around here because we need that. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get some resources together and then we're going to build a little campfire together 
So yeah, I'll see you in just a sec. Turns out we're not really gonna focus too much on the actual campfire because we don't have any nether racks. I forgot we didn't go to the nether yet. So we'll have to do that in the next upcoming episode. So try to remind me guys if I forget. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna clear out a little bit of a space here. Because I want to make a nice little place where we will have a fireplace eventually, or a campfire. Yeah, so let's do that, but I think we should first quickly try to sleep to get rid of the night. Okay, we can't sleep just yet. Stupid night is going to happen. By the way, we have protection one armor. I'm thinking I might try to... Once I'm done getting a level 30 in chain, I might just, you know, combine some stuff to try to get, like, prop 3 iron or prop 2 iron. I don't know. Let me know if you think that's worth it in the comments, because that is quite a bit of iron that I could spend towards something else. But we'll have to see. Okay, so three, four, five, six. We don't, we don't want it even. Okay, so five, and then boom, boom. We basically are making a circle of these without actually, you know, having the edges of the circle that aren't the straight sides. One, two, three, four, five, boom, boom. It's not rocket science, but it is just going to add a little bit to this. I think at least like having a little nice little circle here does add something as long as we didn't mess up on it which from the look of it I think we did good it is kind of a weird looking circle though I mean if you want me to check here I can check right now because you know like it's sort of weird because we made it sort of small and long instead of making it perfectly rounded but it's kind of just, you know, what we decided to do. And now the next step to making our base is actually right here. Because this tent here, what I want to do is we're going to put a staircase going down in this tent. Or a ladder or something. And we're going to place our little farm inside the basement of that tent. So that way we can still have a farm here. It's just, you know, not, like, visible from the surface. Because I don't want that because it doesn't add to the atmosphere of the place because this is not meant to be our farming place you know we don't really have a farming village but i'm just gonna finish t trampling on these crops and then i'm gonna start digging out the area and then i'll be right back so i finished digging out a little area we're only gonna have a really small farm i realize it's literally you know not many spaces but i feel like we're not actually gonna really need too many spaces in like you know to actually do this but we don't have enough light, so we're gonna have to fix that. But I threw this little, like, cobblestone up here, and I actually really like the way it looks. And then I wanna throw, like, logs going here, going here, you know, going around the edge like this, just because I think it looks decent. I don't know. I think having the wood, it makes sense for, like, supports. And then, you know, we can just throw some cobble on the side here. Here we can do the same. Boom. Now obviously we'll probably have to try to add something to this to kind of lighten it up. You know, not torches meaning. I mean like we actually I mean we do have to add torches, but I mean we need something to add to this, I think. Because it really could use something. We gotta figure out what that something is. But I know I wanna put this there backwards. And this there is just not really doesn't help. So let's just throw a piece of cobblestone in there. Is that gonna bug me? Um I don't know, that might bug you guys, so we're gonna leave it there. Okay, let's throw some of our potatoes here. It's not many at all, you know. But let's do the next step, which would be we need to add some storage in here. We're gonna actually throw our crafting table right down there. Is that is super cool and useful. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go right here. And we're going to actually need to make some more stuff. Like another chest and some of those stairs. So we're going to throw another stair there and we're going to do something like that. Now my only concern is the light in here now. Is it going to be good enough? I think it is. We'll just throw a torch there. And then let's see how this looks. Do we want slabs among the top here I think I think we do but what is going on right back here like when that connects anything I don't know I don't know why that that just back corner there got me a little bit weirded out 
Oh wait, cause here we pulled it out, I think. What? Okay, okay, let's do this. Boom. And then boom, I think. Is that how it works? Oh no, this entire side has the slabs going back like way too early. Okay, here we go. Now we got this. There we go. That's what happens when you don't know what you're doing. But now there we go. That looks good. And then we got, you know, just a nice little cobble staircase. So I think that's gonna be okay. For now at least. But anyway, let's go to the comment question hall. I'll see you there in a sec. Okay, and we're here. We gotta do 9, 27, 16. Episode 7. Boom, right? Got that right? Yes. And this question's sort of weird, but it I kind of had to rephrase a question. But the question was, well, what the comment was, it said, use a 1.10 facial texture pack for the series. And by the way, there is 1.10 facial textures, but they are a little hard to find, but it shouldn't be that hard. Congrats on 200 subs. But I'm rephrasing it to, can you use a 1.10 faithful texture pack? for this series. So that's like how I'm rephrasing it. They didn't leave what they wanted the head to be, so unless they change their mind, it's gonna be Steve. If they don't, you know, care, they can leave it at that. And then I'm gonna write their name. And as I do, I'm gonna answer the question, which is plain and simple, no, because I want to keep it very vanilla and I feel like using a faithful texture pack is gonna kind of make it too HD for what I'm going for but I don't know maybe at some point we'll use a faithful texture pack but I honestly prefer this texture pack and we're gonna remove one of these brickwood heads up in the skull room because I don't know why we have two brickwood heads or two of these I don't know it just doesn't seem right to me that we have two heads of those nature that were separate I feel like a Steve would make more sense just because of how generic the Steve skin is and then also, we left a lot of resources here, but nonetheless, we'll pick those up another time. Anyway, guys, make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed, and make sure you can do the comment question today. Remember, even if you already did it, you can do it again. So, don't worry, just, you know, you can ask another question. If I like it, you'll be chosen. But anyway, guys, this has been Brook the Twin Routine here, and I am locking off until the next one. So until then, bye!